Hello, hello, my lovely. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do the reverse cat eye technique and I want to do it with this little palette. This is the new, one of the two new cutie palettes by Nabla. I love Nabla. I love the cutie palettes and I want to do a reverse cat eye and I think I'm just going to use these three shades because I think it is nice to have something like blue and light on the top lid and then on the bottom lid, a lid bottom lid <laughs> lower lash line i can use this uh, what's it called blue hour to uh, make that cat eye a moment the whole reason why i'm doing this is because i have the worst eyes the worst eyes to do a liner with check you see this line this like fold that goes beyond with a fold like this it's such a pain in the behind to do a beautiful wing liner. But with this technique, I finally can do a wing liner. I love it. I have been doing this like, I think once or twice. I will link down the video that I have seen from the creator that I have seen do this the first time. He's a brilliant makeup artist. His channel name is, I have to check, Painted by Spencer. I think his name is Spencer. I would imagine so. He's a very brilliant makeup artist. I love what he does. It's very out there and very bold but he has a lot of beautiful techniques he is the one i saw do this i think he's the one who made it popular on tiktok so i will link him down below if there's someone else who did this before i bet people have done this before because you know it's like i think a makeup artist technique then what else i i think that he was the first one at least i saw him do it and i saw the technique he is explaining I'm not making this too difficult. I want to keep it wearable. I want to keep it simple for you because I am all about playing with color, playing with beautiful techniques, but keeping them wearable. So I'm not going to make an extreme cat eye look because I want to like wear it without people like, oh my God, what did she do? I want to look presentable, I want to look beautiful, I want to look elegant, but I also want to play with makeup. And that is what my channel is all about. My name is Anneke Dis and I want to inspire you to use a little bit of color every day. So I create colorful looks, but I always try to keep them a little bit more wearable, a little bit more elegant. I play a lot with indie makeup, but also with a high-end and mid-range. That's just my jam. I love indie makeup, I love colorful makeup, and I love to keep it wearable and presentable. So if this sounds like music to your ears, then please consider subscribing. I upload two times a week. So yeah, there's always something fun to watch. And let's finally dive into this technique. Okay, so this is the cutie palette. This is the midnight palette I showed you in the beginning. I think it looks so dang stunning, especially that quiet storm. Oh my God. I am going to zoom you in. Is this too zoomed in? I don't think so. You know, you can be close to my face. You don't mind now, do you? Okay, I'm going to go in with air, this one. And I think I want to put Elma on my lid and this in the crease and i'm going to see once i've done the cat eye thing if i need to put that blue hour in my outer corner as well i think i'm just going to speed through this a little bit because otherwise you were going to be here forever i'm just trying to figure out yes i'm going to use my mac 217 s brush big surprise and i'm just going to uh, build a crease and see I'm, go I'm just going to get that blue, that air blue, all in my crease, outer corner action. And I think I might cut my crease to make that like Elma really pop. But I have to see. I think so, yeah. Okay, I think the best way to apply this um, air color is by stamping it on and not blending too much because you lose a lot of the intensity it gets patchy a little bit it's a very beautiful color but you have to really stamp on because i'm getting patches if i don't i think i'm going to cut my crease because i think if i put that I'm going to take my zero two uh, brush from refer i love these this brush for like matte semi-matte like satiny shades this elma shade is i think somewhat of a satin so i'm going to see how it yeah i think or don't i hmm. 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 do i need to the thing is though it really emphasized the creepiness of my lids it's not 
I thought it was going to be a bit more white than it is. It's more like a light blue, well, satin, I would say. It's not a matte. It's a bit patchy. Hmm. Let me say, I feel very much Elsa from Frozen. Not a bad thing necessarily, but yeah. I think I'm not going to do anything uh, like mascara just yet because I want to see what happens when I'm going to play with that blue hour. Okay, let me see. I'm going to take a Smith 203 brush because this is small. Ooh, yeah, small and somewhat stiff, but very thin as you can see. And I'm going into that blue hour. This one. And I'm just going to make a line on my lower lash line. Um, I'm just going to use shadows because I don't want to use a liner. I tap off the excess on my hand because otherwise it's going to get messy. Already done my base and I never do that. But yeah, that's the that's thing. So what I've seen is when you are you're making that line over here, you just relax your eye and you extend it and you pull it a little bit more like straight instead of upwards that is what spencer said so that is what i'm doing i'm sticking to his story and as you can see it's not necessarily very sharp but i can fix that later with just you know some makeup wipe or anything like that i'm just going to finish the rest of it and what you can do now to make it really like that cat eye is extend that line towards your inner corner but as you can see, if you use shadow, it can get messy. So you really want to use a very thin brush. And if you don't want this one, this one, this Sigma E06 brush, it's even smaller, even sharper. It has a very sharp point. So I'm going to switch over to that one and extend that line. Okay, now I have the general shape of what I want, you know, to have. And as you can see, it's like a very straight... It's like I was Cleopatra in a former life. You know? You see what I mean? Now, what I'm going to do is have this, like, little corner over here. I'm going to fill that up a little bit. So it's more like a straight line instead of having that little nick. So this part is going to be a little bit thicker like so to smoke this out a little bit i'm going to use my zero three brush or o3 brush by refer i'm just very gently going to diffuse that line a little bit but not not too much on the edges because this is going to ruin the whole effect okay like so. I'm also going to take that air, uh, that very bright blue, that air, that light blue uh, shade. Jeez, I was looking for the name. And I'm going to place that underneath a little bit, just to smoke it out just a little bit. And make it a little bit more cohesive. And I'm using a Refer 23, so that is like the smaller brother of the 03 brush that I was using before. But you can also, of course, if you want to like have a very sharp line a sharp effect on this you can totally use a liner like a, a, a kajal liner or you can use like a liquid liner but i think that would look really harsh and i i love that you can make this look a little bit more diffuse as well so this is what it's looking right like right now i am going to do the other side then i'm coming back and then i'm going to decide if i want to have a little bit more going on on the top as well so i will be back this is what it looks like right now i have both on i must say this one got a little bit crooked but i can fix it if i want to i'm just not i'm not too bothered the only thing i'm debating now is if i need to extend this line a little bit like so i think i'm going to do that i have this little um zero oh six brush and i just take that blue hour shade just very close to my lash line going from the wing 
into my lash line. Yeah, I think that looks nice. Because you give that like lash line on the top a little bit more definition. And I don't think I'm going to extend or drag it all the way. But just like halfway. I'm sorry if I'm not showing you correctly. I'm probably not like this. Like this. It looks very... Do you know what I mean? Like old Egyptian. Well, a old, I would say ancient. But I really love this look. I'm going to put on some mascara and then I'm going to see. I think this is going to be it because I think this looks very, very cool. All right, and this is the finished look. I think it looks really stunning, really fun. It is a bit of a look, but I do love it. And you don't have to make it this bright because I think the brightness of the white really makes that like can i pop if you want to keep it a little softer a little bit more wearable just do a neutral eye on top and a beautiful blue line down below but i think this looks so much fun i i adore it i love it all right ladies thank you so much i hope this was a helpful video i think this is a beautiful technique to use if you have so like me a little bit of a hood or just some, like a nasty little fold and you can make beautiful wing liner this is really fun really fun they're not sisters by any means not even cousins i would say but they're close enough they're close enough okay ladies thank you so much for watching let me know down below what you think of this reverse cat eye technique are you trying it are you loving it i hope you will subscribe because i would love to see you in my next video bye